I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and today we're here to talk about Thunder on the Narrows, an event that happens every year. This is the 24th year and I have Wheeler Baker here with me. He's one of the organizers and he's going to tell us about it because there's a lot of stuff that goes on that weekend. There's and a lot that goes on for yeah. sure. <laughs> so he was just giving me some, some hints on some of the things and I'm intrigued by it. So tell us about Thunder on the Narrows. Well first let me say the date. It's June 21st and 22nd. It's a Saturday and a Sunday, so it is about a month away. So That's, that's correct. Uh, it's closing in on us. Right. Um, and for those that used to go, it used to be in August. Yes. But it got so, so daggone hot, and we decided to change, and the Smart. Yacht Club went along with us, so we uh, we moved it back, and it's worked wonderful. Yeah, I think, and, and I think that's a good, I, August is a miserable month. <laughs> <laughs> it was tough. <laughs> sometimes it was good, sometimes it was horrendous. Right, right. Yeah. So, well, so first off, thanks for having us on here. Oh, you're welcome. You're yeah. welcome. I'm I'm thrilled to hear about this. So yeah. so what goes on? Okay, powerboat racing. It, everybody thinks of the big ones, but these are not the big cigar I, boats. I tell people these are true race boats. Okay. You know, um, except for the Jersey Skiffs, everybody's out there by themselves. Okay. And we run uh, about five classes of hydroplanes. We run the Jersey Skiffs, which is a crowd favorite. Okay. Uh, those guys are nuts. And then we run, we run flat bottoms, which have the, the big block, mostly big block Chevrolets. They're 125, 130 mile an hour machines. Oh, wow. And some of the hydros are, are capable of 150. But the, the neatest thing that we started about four years ago is we, uh, as a club, we talked about this. And if it's, it's like any sports. you got to have a feeder system. Yep. So american powerboat association had been promoting and working with kids so we thought let's try it so we actually mm -hmm. encouraged kid racing i oh, call it kid man. racing little nine foot hydroplanes 15 horse uh mercs and johnson's on them they'll run about <laughs> 35 mile an hour i was gonna say <laughs> 35 fast. it's uh the, from ages from a nine-year-old to a 13 year old okay boy or girl they have little classes there for them. It's the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. They all get in there and they huddle around. And they have instructors to tell them uh -huh. what to do. And then by 1030, we'll send them out the first time. Okay. And they go out and most of them will mess up. Because <laughs> for a lot of them, it's the first time it's on the water. I was just going to say, it's probably their first time. So we get that out of the way. And then, and then at 2 o'clock when we have the peak crowd, when we've got the most people are going to be there, uh -huh. we set up another little course in front of the crowd. Okay. And that's when they have their big race. It's really now. Neat. Are these their boats, or are well, in some, in most cases, yes, it's their okay. boats. But our club, we have our own boat, uh -huh. and the American Powerboat Association has uh, three boats that, okay. they, that they let it, they go from circuit venue to venue. Okay, and uh, so we've got, we'll have twelve, fifteen oh different gosh. boats there, and we'll put uh, half of them out at any given time, turn them loose. <laughs> it's neat. I love it. Turn them loose. Yeah. And and you're they're racing on the water down by Kent Island Yacht Club down yes. in Kent Narrows. Yeah, we we uh, the Yacht Club and the Kent Narrows Race Association have an agreement. Uh huh. And we're there for one weekend, and uh, that's right where we are, right on the grounds. Okay. And right while we're talking about, it, let me tell you, for who's watching this, you know, park is tough down to the narrow. So right. what we do, because uh, there's not a whole lot of room at the Yacht Club, you park underneath the bridge. Okay, at the and park and ride. Uh. Right yeah, underneath, yeah, yeah, under the fifty bridge, and okay. then we, and then you, uh, we have a shuttle bus that'll bring you right to the gate. Oh wow! Okay. And then you come on in. You get your, you get a program. And you get greeted by my granddaughter and other people. <laughs> it's, it's, and, and then, then you come on in, and you're actually right there. At the pit, you're right outside the pits. There's a fence between you and the pits. So all that action. So you can is see. Happening. Oh, you're right there. Okay. Oh, it's cool. Now out on the water, that's uh -huh. fun too. But one of the days you should be in the on the ground so you can really see what's going on. Right, and what time do the gates open? Gates open at 10. Okay, at 10, and... And, and it's, it's seven seven bucks. Okay. Seven, and if you're a kid, if you're 12, it's no charge. Oh man, you can't beat that. And if you're handicapped and you would like to see this event, uh -huh. um, what we'll do, we'll get you get to the gate and we'll have a golf cart pick you up and take you down. We have a VIP tent. Nice. We'll roll you right in there. Okay. And set you up and you're good to go. So you can see everything. Matter of fact, last year uh, was the first time we did this. We had some veterans come in, some wounded warriors, uh -huh. and we had uh, I think three or four of them uh, trucking for troops. Uh -huh. I don't know if you ever heard yeah. of them or not. Yeah. Well, they <clears throat> they helped us with the bus, and they brought us some 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 boys that got banged up. One lost his leg, and one was missing an arm, but they didn't care. They <clears throat> they were having a great time in there. Nice. Okay. So we were very proud, very happy to do that. Yeah, that's a good thing. Now I have some pictures 
Can you tell us what kind of boats these are? Yes, this is uh, this is called a Jersey speed These skip. are the ones you said they go wild. Oh, they're nuts. <laughs> these guys, they're, they're not right. But anyhow, these boats, story has it, legend has it that years ago during Prohibition, they oh, were running off the Jersey coast gotcha. and the Delaware coast and probably down the bay also. Okay. They'd run out to the ships that were coming from foreign countries, and probably them. going to Canada, picking up whiskey and coming down. Right. And they'd run whiskey in, in uh, those little boats. bootlegging. Cheesy peasy. And they have two people in there. Two people. Once they call a ride mechanic, although I don't know what he's doing. He's, he's that's hanging he, on for dear life. That's about the size of it. <laughs> they'll, they'll run about 85, maybe touch close to 90. Okay. And then these are the... Now this is, these are hydroplanes. Okay. This is the team I used to drive four years ago, a uh, uh, big bird team. Okay. Um, though, this is a stock small block, capable of about, on our race course, between 115 and 120. That's got a... Um, just an inexpensive automotive engine in it. Okay. I mean, you trick it out. I mean, you clearance it and do what you can to make it run faster. How but big is your course? Course is about a mile and a quarter. Okay. And we do. We're supposed. To, that's my there old boat. That's my old boat right there. All right. We used to do uh, uh, four laps because they want us to run five miles, but uh -huh. because it's uh, so precarious here, sometimes we cut them right. down to three. Mm -hmm. But that's th and that's plenty. Okay. So there's the. Yeah, that, the right there, it, they're scoring up here. Now, if you'll look down and see those boats behind there, right. that's some of the, uh, the local folks, the work boats and all, they anchor up in that second turn. Okay. It's, it's a party from a two-day party going there. on right there. <laughs> <laughs> but watching these guys start is a, is a rush, I'm telling you. It, and, it, and somebody's never seen it. it this is Do they race both days? Yes. Th these? Okay. It's two separate days of racing. Okay. So basically, if you're a team and you mess up or something breaks on Saturday, you get another. You got a chance to redeem yourself. Awesome. It's all about bragging rights. Right, right. You're not going to retire from this sport. This picture's great. Yeah. That'd give you an idea of the water it's in the air when you, when you really Jeez. got them going. Yep. And how many boats How many boats race? How many do you usually have We'll there? put a max out there. Of, oh, we'll put max of seven or eight at a time. Okay. Depending on the referee, what kind of mood he's in. Okay. So you have you have referees there. Can, oh, yeah. It's all, oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Right. You mess up, you're out. And this is the 24th year. Next year is the 25th year. Right. And that's going to be a big year for you guys. Well, it is. And uh, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, the American Power Boat Association has several big races. Mm -hmm. You have your, the granddaddy of all them is the national championship. Okay. Everybody gets together. And you, and do, where's that held or is it moved different, different, different venues. places? Okay. Then you have a, then you split the country in half. You have a western divisional and an eastern divisional. Mm -hmm. And we bid for the eastern divisionals for 2015 and got them. On your 25th anniversary? Yep. So, spon be. so sponsors beware. We're going to come out. <laughs> We're going to Everybody need some hear help. that? We're going to need some help on this, but it's uh, it should bring some more boats down. Right. And uh, I was very... Uh, That's wonderful. I was kind of touched that they would do that for right. our, uh, our little club. I mean, we do the best we can with what we got to work with. Right. We don't have... Our water sometimes can be a little tricky mm -hmm. because of the boat traffic. Right. And those that are out there that are watching this, keep your wake down. So... Because at 125 mile an hour, you hit a roller, you're, it can be ugly. A little wave can do yeah. a lot of damage. So, so that could help us a lot if you could just tell your friends to keep the right. keep the boats under control. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool getting getting that championship race. That's, and is it going to be in June next year also? Yes. Okay, excellent. So everybody, again, mark your calendars: June 21st and 22nd this year. Right. Now I think it's I think it's the 27th and 28th next okay. year. It's a weekend so after right weekend right after Father's Day. Okay. I was going to say you're getting up close to 4th of July. Yeah. A lot of boat traffic then. Yeah. Um, and, and again, the gates open at 10. And how much was it again? $7. $7. And children under 12 were free. Right. Um, and you have food. And oh, we got it all. Yeah. You have vendors there. Now, what we do, um, every year we have a benefactor for part of our profits. Okay. And over the years, we've helped hospice, mm -hmm. Chester Y, Seabeck, fire companies. I'm probably forgetting some. Uh, right. but, but anyhow, but they don't get it, and the sports boosters, Ken Allen sports boosters, they don't get it for free. you got to come in and work to Cook Shack. Ah, okay. So they come in, and they help us out, and then we help them later. Right. That's worked out very well. Can people bring food in, or mm, no? Unless you are some kind of a special diet. Okay, we, okay. So but, and as far as bringing beer, we've got beer and everything you, right. get, everything you so need you is right there. So you get it there. Yep, we got, got it all. It. Okay, um, and you guys have a website. It's kentnarrowsracing.com, mm -hmm. and um, 
if there's any questions, you have there's in contact information on the website. And again, mark your calendars. Good weather that weekend, and come out and see these boats. This is something that's it's, it's spectacular. Yeah, really. I've been looking at it my entire life. <laughs> I can tell you were so enthused. <laughs> yeah, about and it. it's just a, uh, it's just a, a really cool sport. Wonderful, wonderful, and I'm I'm excited that next year for the 25th anniversary, you know, you're going to have the big event here. So so am I. Yep. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We appreciate it. Thank you.